Thoughts on Windows 12? Oh, Windows 12. Yeah, if they can in Copilot and other subscription services, it's going to be really interesting. We'll see if it ends up being a subscription-based model. I'm pretty sure right now it's looking like it's just going to be enterprise IoT-based subscriptions, which I don't know how that well that'll work. Does that mean LTSC is going to be lumped in with subscription services? I don't know, but I know they're going to definitely try and leverage subscription services on Windows 12. It's going to just be another fresh coat of paint on Windows 11, I imagine, with not too many changes. However, with them and Microsoft acquiring so many gaming studios and other things, I do worry about the future of gaming on Windows. I'm tempted to make a video that just says, get off of Windows as soon as you can. Start learning Linux now, so then when you get Windows 12 coming in two years, you're not completely blindsided. But usually the end of life is about five years after the launch of the new one. So we're probably, I would say, you probably don't need to leave Windows until probably 2030. Uh, so seven years from now is kind of what I think. But you probably should start learning Linux. And, and maybe if you, you you can do Mac, that's fine. If you're not a gamer, Mac, Mac would suffice. But for us gamers, Linux is the only other option. Mac is not an option for gaming. Full stop. So that's kind of where we're at with like Windows 12. I don't know where that's going to end up. But I imagine it's somewhere in between of everything I just said. I think there'll be a lot of subscription services. I think they're going to continue bloating things up and just, oh, I can't, I just can't uh, see where that's going to go. It's going to be interesting, but I don't think it's going to be a good place. Well, of course it's not, but how much worse than our current experience is it? That's the question. And I think it's just going to be a lot more bloat. There'll be some subscription services. It's just going to feel yucky. <laughs> that's the best way I can put it uh, probably the thing like like Windows 11 oh I think I did remove widgets and some other stuff here but a typical stock Windows 11 has like a news feed and other things we'll see how pushy they get with that because news I, I'm not a big news guy I don't like reading the news don't like watching the news puts me in a bad mood and uh, I, I don't like the fact they bundle that in by stock defaults too so I, you know I'm just more of a minimal guy simple I like, I like it simple. I like it to do one thing and then move on. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Windows 12. I'm, I'm, I just hate subscriptions. If you have to pay per month for a piece of software, I don't know. It just feels wrong to me. It feels wrong. I don't, I'm not saying not to buy software. I just think you should buy a version of software and it should last until you're done with it. You know, I just... I feel like that in my bones. It's, it's the right thing to do. Software should not be as a service. I SaaS can just go to hell. I just don't like it at all. I I hate subscriptions. I purposely I like anything that's a subscription in my life. I'm like, hmm, when's the, the quickest way I can get rid of this? Because <laughs> anything that's like residual in a payment plan, I just absolutely despise. I think... You just should stay away from that stuff as much as you can. 